The stories came, hesitantly, insistently, sometimes with tears. More than 80 witnesses across four countries appeared before the UN panel to give evidence of torture, starvation and summary execution at the hands of the North Korean state. During the early hearings in Seoul, the chief investigator described his feelings to the BBC. Uh, as one of the witnesses said, in some ways what happened to us was worse than Auschwitz. It was as if they were preparing for our inevitable death uh, in the camp. And uh, we learned from the Second World War that there must be no more Auschwitzes. There must be no more uh, of places of that kind. And if the international community is true to the great principles of the United Nations, uh, they will take this seriously. Many witnesses spoke about life inside a network of political prison camps hidden in North Korea's mountainous countryside. A former prison guard described what the satellite photographs don't reveal, that inmates sent to die in the camps were seen as less than human. The panel heard from some of them too. One time I overheard my mother and brother talking about escape and I later reported it. I called them as mother and brother, but I didn't have any special feelings of kinship or the concept of family. Later, both my mother and brother were publicly executed because of me, and I had to witness their deaths in front of lots of people. North Korea denies allegations of abuse and the existence of political prison camps, but it did not allow the team into the country to verify them. Human rights activists hope the conclusions of this report will put pressure on Pyongyang to respond. The allegations heard by the panel are not new to people here in South Korea. What is new is the involvement of the UN in investigating them and the possibility that it could lead to international indictments. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Seoul.